It's a good thing we've got a third kit. And winter is coming. It's here, it's now, it's game day. And away game for us today as we travel 30 minutes up the A1, leaving Pixmore playing fields where we'll be heading towards McMullen Park. Where we will be facing Real Bedford as it's Real Bedford versus Letchworth Garden City Eagles in the Spartan South Midlands Division 1. So how are you expected to compete against someone who created Bitcoin and is playing real life football manager at step six? FBI, open up! Well that's enough chatting. Bollocks. Let's get to full news! So Bedford, Real Bedford, or any other name change that they call themselves for tax evasions. That's another call cool order coming my way. Finished seventh last season, played 38, won 19, drew seven, lost 12, goals four, 90, goals against 72. That's a goal difference of plus 18, and he ended on 63 points. They currently sit top of the league, just like Barnet, up the Bs, where they've played three and won three. Rob Sinclair, who took over on the 10th of May this year, where he's taken three games and he's won three games because I just said that they've played three games and gives him a win percentage of 100%. Dan Walker, who has six goals in three games. I don't care about the mess. I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The 19th of the 1st, 2022. That was a Tuesday night as well, funny enough. Bedford 4, Letchworth Garden City Eagles 1. So, with that all being said, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's... We get the fuck out of here. Up the Eagles. <laughs> for warm up five two latest we've got new players in the team because we need to improve i'm the manager now for two games look at me i'm the captain now from what i see today and what i see on thursday will dictate who's in the squad on saturday how long you stay on the pitch if i don't see what i'm supposed to be seeing i'm taking you off all you have to do is perform for the instructions that's it that's all i'm asking <laughs> Some of the people in here. So all I'm asking you to do is perform the best you can and the rest will fall into place. Thank you, Dominic. Goalkeeper. Here not defender. Tyree's Ace defender. Lexi Thomas defender. I didn't know Sunny, defender. Carl Osborne, midfielder. Holly Chart, midfielder. Sam James, captain. 
Vlad has just gone forward. Shay Kelly, attacker. Mark Summers, striker. Harry got him in the midfielder. Lucas Gerritaskas, defender. Yeah. Richard Marvel, defender. Johnny Bates, striker. And Mark Summers gets this game underway for us. Up the Eagles, come on now. Bedford on the attack here. Dempsey cuts that out. Ball paid into Trotty. Plays into Shea, driving forward. Plays a safety ball back to Tyrese, who plays into Carl. Lovely turn there. Thanks for coming. Into Trotty, who plays out back to shin pads. Trotty with another little turn, and that'll be a free kick. Sammy to lock this in. The Bedford player wins it. It bounces off Shea's shins. Bouncing around again as Bedford play clears. Cole can't get enough on that. He's hooked high and long. Cole intercepts nicely. Ball's played through the summers. He fancies a shot. He can't get it away from under his feet. He wants the ball back again. Shea plays through to Tyrese. He fancies a little run. He's going down the line here. Looking to loft it in. Ball whipped into a dangerous area. Cleared by the Bedford defender. Bedford will pick this ball and drive forwards. One Bedford attacker against three, four Letchworth defenders. And that is stopped by a Kiwi international. Not because he's played for the New Zealand national team, it's because he's done international rivals from Gatwick. Bedford on the attack once again. Oh, they're claiming a penalty here. The referee's not interested. Turns away, fight continues. Dempsey well defended there. Sammy James to whip a ball in from a corner. Flicked off by a Bedford player. He picked up by Ollie Trotz. He drops the shoulder. First time cross in. Goes all the way to the... Sammy James first time. Unmarked. Couldn't get enough on it. A doy. For the follow up. He's winning his battles. Doy. Again. And that's a good save by the goalkeeper. Our best attack so far of this arc. Sammy to take the corner from the save from the keeper earlier. Balls fell to Dempsey. Unmarked. Rolls straight into the keeper. Nice and easy. Dan Walker will collect this ball. He's taking on Dempsey. He's got the ball into a dangerous area. Bedford player unmarked there. He could not get enough of it. Goes for a goal kick. That's a little bit naughty from Royd Rage there. Funny how the officials never saw that one. As he plays a ball down the line, it's Dan Walker. And Doig sees a free kick. He can't believe it. As this free kick is played in, it's away by Dempsey. Semi cleared by Sammy as the ball played in again to Bedford. Lofting. Straight into Nathan Epps. Tyrese to play the ball into Shea. Which turned into trouble. It's a bad touch. When number four decides to attack Cole Shins instead of attacking the ball, that will be a free kick to Letchworth. Cross played in by Bedford. It's hit the end of a doy. The referee has stopped play right now. The Lino's waved his flag. The ref will go and have a chat with his assistant. And it's a penalty given. A bit hard done by on that. Dan Walker from 12 yards who smashes it straight down the middle of the goal. 1-0 Real Bedford. Sammy looking to get some revenge on Royd Rage from that earlier stamp. He misses the first one, he gets the second one, and that'll be a free kick. He's whipped that in with pace, but it's just a little bit too high for anyone to get on the end of. And here we go playing total football again. Trotty, one touch to Summers, to one touch to Carl. Plays through to Flav, who's driving down that box. You've got Summers in that middle, and Shea against one Bedford defender. Another dangerous attack down there, right hand side as Levin with the ball into number 10, who's unmarked, but he lifts it over the bar. Poor defending. Bedford on the attack again as a 1 2's played. Offside called, he put the ball in the back in there, and it is offside. Too slow with that pass. <laughs> Flav to whip a ball in. Sammy James is unmarked. Edda just goes over the bar. For all the money they've got, the vulnerable at the back. Royd rages at it again on Sammy. Referee decides to give a free kick, doesn't have a word of him. This is why it continues. Almost half time as a corner's whipped in, and it's 2 0 Real Bedford. Theo not strong enough with his man marking there. And the ref has called time on the first half where we trail 2 0. Since we've been in the game, some decent chances. One goal, that's what it is. Play to get semi good side, that dead penalty that they should never have been given, and a corner. That's a small margin in football. But we have to believe it. And if you don't believe in it, let me know now. Let me take you off the pitch, please. I've got five people on the bench itching to get on the pitch. I need to see some belief in this side. No, by any circumstances, if I tell you to do a job, you're going to do a job. Or I'm going to take off the pitch. Let that be known. If I ask you to do a job, fucking do a job or come off the pitch. If you want to be a manager, take off your kit, go to a club, manage a club, do all your badges. But at the moment, there ain't a badge in it, apart from Sammy and me and Matt. 
every ball has to be a forward one now. Put them under pressure. Two more in side, side back, side back, side back. Yes? Yeah. Come on. And Real Bedford get the second half underway. No changes from us as of yet. Number six on the attack for Bedford. Someone's with a strong challenge. Number 10 pipes up the summons and then looks away and shits his pants the second summons gives in the eye. What's the referee gonna do here? And that's a bitch move there from the captain, pushing him away, but then looking at the ref. Oh, help me, please. Here's a yellow card. It's a caution and it will be a free kick. They played a short one, cutting into the box. It's going on on goal. And is it the side netting? Opportunity for us here in the second half as Trotty plays into Lucas. Lucas cuts inside. He's beating about 22 players. He plays for the outside of his boot to Shea. He's dropped the shoulder. He's had a shot. Just dragged his shot wide. Bedford with a dangerous attack in. Nathan's forced him wide. He's had to cut back in. He's played the ball into the centre. And that's a fantastic dot by Flav. Ball lands Barry from a corner. He fancies it. 25 yards out. Over the bar. Another good save by Nathan. Bedford have piled on the pressure in the second half. It feels like attack v defence at the moment as we are trying to hold on to not concede and get out of our own half. Sammy to whip a corner in. It's away by Bedford as a counter attack is on as we're trying to get back into shape. Little one two between Bedford players, he's knocked it down the wing. We've got five Letro players against three Bedford players. They're calling for a penalty and he's given it. This came from against a runner play from our corner. And just like the first penalty, they've smashed it in the top. I managed to speak to the ref and ask him, was that not caught to hand? Reply, his arm was in an unusual position. So kick the ball at someone's hand, you'll get a penalty. But push someone in the penalty area and get fuck all. Standing the referee in. As Sammy stands over this free kick. It's a one-on-one -on -one foot race as a Bedford player against Dempsey. Dempsey with a fantastic challenge. Prize referee didn't give a penalty for that one. And that's full time, the officials has called it. Real Bedford, three, Electric Garden City Eagles, nil. Thank you. For me, it was good for me. For effort, I can't fault you. For some quality on the pitch, I can't fault you. For determination, I can't fault you. But if you give what you gave today, on Saturday, we ain't gonna have any problem in this fast game. But this is a starting point. From what I've been hearing, if you've been playing like that and losing games, then I don't know what's been going on. You've shown the qualities that you've got. You have done your club proud, done me proud. So the final score, Real Bedford three, Letchworth Garden City Eagles nil. Unfortunately, I did not manage to get any interviews last night. It was a late one and everyone just wanted to get home. Three nil loss does not reflect the way that we played. The boys battled hard. The officials with those penalties. Sounds like I'm being sour grapes right now. It's a tough one to take. You're turning your body. Your arms are going to flail. I think a little bit of common sense needed in scenarios like that. But Real Bedford, very good side. Very fit. Very organised. Very well drilled and well disciplined. And I'm sure it's got absolutely nothing to do with the packet that they're getting. Not that kind of packet. So the next game is away in the FA Vars against Holland. Looking forward to that one. One way in, one way out. Bank holiday weekend. Roadworks. Two and a half hour journey. Cannot wait for this one. You know what to do. Tala.